Alexandra, this is so uh, exciting. You've been named the Outstanding Young Investigator Award winner. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks a lot. What was your reaction when you found out that you won the award? Um, well, actually, I got a call from the MRS president, Arlanda Ausiela, uh, during our group meeting. So, and I just, I couldn't stop smiling, but I had to wait until our student finishes his presentation to share the news. Um, I was overwhelmed, um, feeling very proud and very humbled at the same time, because, you know, I know how hard the competition is, and there are so many good candidates. Um, I think the great part of it was to realize that um, the research direction that I'm working on um, for the past years got this high recognition with the award. So we are doing the right and important things. That was a really great feeling. But the best part of it was actually to share the news and to thank people, you know, to thank my nominator, Harry Atwater, to thank colleagues and friends, those who support me. Actually, one of them is the MRS chair, till this meeting, Mark Brungesma and uh, others. To thank uh, my students who are actually doing the job and to thank my colleague and husband, Vlad Shalive, <laughs> who is actually, whose inspiration to actually go into this new research field cannot be overestimated. So you made sure you got all your thank yous in, which yeah, is very absolutely. good. That's very yeah, important. You through, you know? <laughs> and you know, we so often talk in this country about the really the low numbers of women in science. So I think it's also very significant that you're a woman who uh, is getting honored in this way. Tell me a little bit about your work with plasmo uh, plasmonics. What are the most recent developments in this field? Um, well, the field actually has come a long way and um, we now demonstrated a lot of truly nanoscale um, optical components and devices with very unique properties, for example, those that have um, subwaylance resolution or those, you know, cloaking, invisibility cloaking devices. So there are so many uh, fascinating devices demonstrated, um, ranging from nanoscale optics, modulators, nanodetectors, even nanolasers. Um, as one of the most interesting recent developments, I would like to mention um, recent demonstrations of so-called flat photonics based on plasmonic matter surfaces. Um, uh, pioneered by the group of um, Federica Capasar, so I think it's a, it's it is a potentially revolutionary field, um, and of course I'm biased, but I think what I do, uh, what my group is, has been doing for the past years, searching for new building blocks, for new constituent materials to actually enable these technologies, is extremely important. What are some of the practical applications of your work? Um, well, to put it simply, we can make it real. So, <laughs> um, and uh, because, as I said, um, in the field of plasmonics and optical metamaterials, we've seen a lot of wonderful ideas and even some of the proof of the concept designs and demonstrations. And it's time to deliver. So we, we have to go to real devices. So we have to find materials that have better optical properties uh, tunability, switchability to actually enable a new generation of devices for nanoscale optics, data storage, biomedical sensing, energy harvesting, and even future quantum information technologies. So, and I encourage everyone to attend talks during this conference because, it, as I can see, there are really many, um, you know, groups that are contributing talks um, in, 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 in this conference and among those I just want to mention that you know groups of again Professor Brungesma, Twitter, Dion, Zhang and Geta, they are doing truly uh, breakthrough science. So it looks like the applications kind of run the gamut. It could be anything from consumer products to very big data storage things that only large companies might need to use. Absolutely and also fundamental physics. So it's very broad, so we're, it's really important to actually pursue this in all possible directions. So you have your field covered. What else are you looking forward to at um, this meeting? Well, I definitely look forward to uh, meeting and thanking the whole MRS team. So again, the MRS president, um, the head of the award committee, Professor Stemmer, um, 
and uh, catching up with my friends and colleagues. <laughs> that's, <laughs> so, that's always a good part of going yeah, to these events, the, right? The um, interesting thing is that in our field of nanophotonics, we have this really great environment and um, so many um, dynamic teams that really do um, world-changing research. So I just look forward to connecting to my friends and um, they just happen to be world-leading scientists attending the conference. So I'm looking forward to that. And you have your speech already, right? You're giving a talk. Yes, I'm giving my talk okay. um, at noon today. All right, well, good luck with that. Alexandra, a pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much. Thanks.